Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at what reversible reactions are. If we have a look at a normal symbol equation then, so for example methane reacting with oxygen, you can tell from this symbol equation that it produces carbon dioxide and water. The arrow tells you the direction of the reaction, so I'm starting off with CH4 and 2O2, which are my reactants, and ending up with CO2 plus 2H2O, which are my products. However, sometimes you might see this symbol here, so what you need to be able to do is explain what the symbol means. The best way to do that is to have a look at an example where it's used. So in the reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen to produce ammonia, you have this symbol, and this symbol means it's a reversible reaction. What we mean by that is nitrogen and hydrogen are reacting together to make NH3, and NH3, ammonia, is also reacting to make nitrogen and hydrogen. In other words, both reactions can occur. What we next need to talk about is what equilibrium is. So if I show you a generic example where A plus B goes to C and D, A and B will start off in a high concentration, they will react together. As they form C and D, the concentration of the products will go up and the concentration of the reactants will go down. Now when the product concentration increases, so I've got lots of C and D, if it's a reversible reaction, the backwards reaction will speed up. So C and D will start reacting together to make A and B. When it gets to a point where the forward and the backward reactions are occurring at the same rate, so you've got the same amount of A and B forming C and D as C and D forming A and B, that's what we call equilibrium. And in an exam, if you're asked a definition for that, it is nice and simply both the forward and backwards reactions are occurring at the same rate. Just a couple of things then, just to finish off this video. Number one, for it to be an equilibrium, it must be in a closed system, so none of the products and reactants should be allowed to escape. And secondly, there are three things that can affect equilibrium. Those things are the temperature, the pressure, and the concentration. But we'll worry about that in more detail in another video. Okay, let's see the type of questions you could get in an exam then. So I've got two questions here. The first one being, describe what this symbol tells us in the following reaction. And number two, explain what equilibrium is and the factors that affect the position of equilibrium. So for question one, you've got that symbol, you know what it means now. What does it tell you is happening in that reaction? So NH3 and HCl, what are they producing? And vice versa. Number two, you know the definition for equilibrium back in this video. What are the three things that affect it? So write both of those down and that will get you four marks out of four. Have a go, we'll see how you've done it in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So question one, what does that symbol mean? Nice and simply, it's a reversible reaction. And then number two, it tells you that you've got both the forwards reaction and the backwards reaction occurring. Now you could have explained that by saying NH3 and HCl are producing NH4Cl and NH4Cl is breaking down into NH3 and HCl. Either way of doing that would have got you the second mark. Question two, explain what equilibrium is. So nice and simply, both the forward and backwards reactions are occurring at the same rate. So you need one mark for both the forward and backwards reactions are occurring and second mark for saying it's happening at the same time, the same rate. It's also in a closed system, don't forget to put that in there. And then finally, the fourth mark is any one of the three things that can affect the position, which is temperature, pressure, and concentration. That almost brings this video to an end. I have got a review question for you, which is use the definition of a reversible reaction to explain equilibrium and use this simple equation to help you, which is H2 plus I2 goes to 2HI with that reversible symbol in there. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.